Hi, I'm Dr. Summers. I'm a urologist at the University of Utah. I want to talk today a little more about BPH treatment and specifically highlight what exactly a TERP is. TERP is a procedure that stands for transurethral resection of the prostate. With this procedure, uh, it's performed in the operating room under a general anesthetic. A urologist uses a resection loop to essentially remove chips or hollow out the obstructing prostate tissue. It uses bipolar energy uh, to achieve this, which is safer for patients, causes less bleeding, and less electrolyte abnormalities, which used to be seen with the more older monopolar technology. It does, however, have some complications unique to, uh, to the procedure itself. Um, bleeding that requires a blood transfusion occurs uh, around two to three uh, percent. It uh, can cause infections. It can um, does have more sexual side effects than some of the other treatments we've talked about previously. Some studies have, have quoted an erectile dysfunction rate as high as 10 or even 15 percent um, of patients following a TERP. Uh, this is difficult data to obtain largely in part because many of these patients uh, that are having these, these procedures done already have some underlying erectile dysfunction present. Other um, complications one can expect from it is, is something called retrograde ejaculation. This is when a man orgasm, uh, orgasms the uh, semen or the ejaculate, uh, gets deposited in the urethra and goes backwards into the bladder and then is voided out later. This is very common just due to the anatomy of following this procedure, um, but does not have any uh, implications in terms of sensation. Uh, but does have some fertility ramifications, obviously. Uh, retreatment rates for this procedure <clears throat> are about 10% at 10 years. Um, other complications can include strictures or forming uh, or the formation of scar tissue along the urethra or at the bladder neck. These would require subsequent procedures to treat. Overall, this treatment has been around the longest. It is the uh, gold standard whereupon other procedures are compared to. If a person is looking for the procedure which will reduce their irritative urinary symptoms the most, this is a great option. Um, it's applicable to most prostates. There are some scenarios uh, where a, a TERP may not be recommended. That includes a prostate which is quite large or a very small prostate.